What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Kid, and I'm back with another banger. And today, I'm going to show you guys the best methods to get all of your shooting badges. Now, I know a lot of YouTubers say, put your settings on Hall of Fame and play on 12 minute quarters because, you know, the harder the difficulty is, it gets you more badge progression points. But if you are just starting out, I suggest that you start off on Pro and then work your way up to a harder difficulty. Because the shooting badge points are based off your shooting percentages. And if you're missing the majority of your shots playing on Hall of Fame, then you still won't get as many badge progression points. And just to give you guys a little tip, if you haven't checked this out yet, make sure you play your My Player Nation games. The My Player Nation games give you double VC and double My Points. It's another my career mode, but you're able to get double badge progression points. So I advise you guys to take advantage of the My Player Nation games ASAP. Now I'm going to show you guys more than one way to get your shooting badges. In my opinion, the first method is the easiest way, only if you're able to do it. All you have to do is press L1, then press R1 to select position play calling. Then press X so the point guard can come over and set you to screen. Then your defender will fall back leaving you wide open for the shot. You want the shortest person on the court setting you the screen because they have the shortest defender on them. In some cases the defender does still jump at you but if they're shorter you have a better chance at shooting over them if you have a dead eye badge. In some cases the defender doesn't back off because as you see I, my defender is a lockdown so he's not backing off. But you still want to get the shot off because that's the most important thing. So I just get open and I still shoot it and I green it. Every shot counts. Also, if you really want to hit greens consistently like me, you guys really should check out my jump shot video. I'm going to leave the link down below in the description. So if you are the point guard, all you have to do is press L1, then R1, and then circle so the shooting guard can come set the screen for you and your defender will fall back. You're going for shooting badges, so you should shoot at any given opportunity. It doesn't just have to be three pointers. So for the second method or the fadeaway method, all you have to do is press L1, call for a quick ISO, and then call for a screen, and then fade away. You don't have to call for an ISO every time. Majority of the time, I'll just call for the screen, then fade in the corner. If you're a shot creator or can hit fades really good, I highly recommend this method. For the next method, all you have to do is call for a screen, run your man into the screen, and do a little step back and shoot from deep. It works better with range extender gold or hall of fame, but you can still hit some deep shots with your range extender at a lower tier, or if you haven't unlocked the badge yet at all. Range extender is a very, very important badge for any build, but especially for shooters. If you want to be a great shooter, get your range extender up as high as you can. Also, remember after every My Career game, you can go to a team practice and work on drills. You can do any kind of shooting drill to get you some extra badge points, but the easiest shooting drill is the free throw drill. Doing any of these methods or tips will help you with all of your shooting badges. Make sure you like the video, comment down below with any questions or any more video suggestions. I try to respond back to everyone. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell for me. But that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you all for watching. I'm out.